Well, this is it. The game I've been looking forward to for years is finally here. What's up, guys, and welcome to our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. Now, obviously, this needs no introduction. This is the biggest, best, most advanced, just most rotund racing game of all time, if that makes sense. Like, I, I, I can't even put into words how excited I am. This is going to be one of our best, one of our longest, just one of the greatest series we've ever done here on this channel. And I'm so glad you're here. Huge thank you to Xbox and Microsoft for hooking it up early. I had early access. I could record, prep, grind out money, that sort of thing to be able to make the best videos possible. I appreciate you guys. I've also got to get in a quick G Fuel plug. Amazing sponsor of mine. They always like to bump my code up and kind of celebrate new games that I'm excited about. So code T Martin's 30% off right now. Use that link in the description. This is the new Sonic Party Punch flavor. It's delicious. If you guys want G Fuel, now's the time to get it. So let's go ahead and kick things off here. Now, the, the thing is, we've already kind of seen this intro a little bit. So it was first uploaded to YouTube a few months ago, and then the early access we had like a month or so ago, we were able to play it. I want to replay the intro cinematic. I'm not going to replay through the whole tutorial where it like walks you through races and stuff. The whole like first 50 minutes, we're going to skip that. But just this first 10 minute cinematic, we've got to watch it, dude. It's... It's still so good. It's going to be my third time seeing it, but it's, it's amazing. Welcome to Mexico, baby. Welcome to one of the greatest series that has ever lived on this channel. Here we go. Home. The most beautiful place on earth. Where everyone is welcome. Together, we can explore the wonder and beauty of Mexico. Experience true freedom. Feel alive. Let's go together as friends. Family. You may ask, are we ready for what happens next? My friend, one thing I have learned chasing the horizon. Sometimes, you just have to let go and enjoy the ride. Just let go and enjoy it, baby. Here we go. Forza Horizon 5. No more intros needed. Nothing else is needed, just the steering wheel in our hands and where the rubber meets the road, baby. Dude, I've, the first time I played this, I was freaking out and I still want to freak out. I'm purposefully not freaking out right now just to keep it chill for you guys. Welcome to Mexico. We're here to stay, baby. This is the full thing, the full game, the full series, the full everything is happening. See you on the other side. One thing we are doing a little bit differently from the, the early access videos is I'm playing on PC now. So on console, you've got the option to be able to, uh, you know, pick between performance mode or graphics mode. Here we're, we're playing on everything mode, I guess. Problem is, I don't have a 4K monitor, so I can't upload in 4K because we're playing in 1440p, but it should still look pretty good. Depending on what happens, I might end up getting a 4K monitor only for this game. Or, like, specifically for this game. Obviously, can use it for any game. Oh my goodness, dude. This is just... Just hauling ass through the desert here, baby. Let's go. Woo. Nice to see you, everybody. Thank you. Glad you made your way over from the UK. It's been a nice three years there, but it's time we're back. Something new. Making new friends, eh? You go enjoy yourself. I have to go make another delivery. Yeah. What an intro to a game, dude. 
Oh my goodness. Lovely day for a drive. Let's drop a wide body C8 Corvette out of a plane and then have you drive into a dust storm. Pretty, pretty average, you know. Just kind of a normal thing to do. Holy cow. Ooh, that Taycon's getting a little feisty. Get outside and hear this baby purr. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at the size of the map, man. Ooh. Pretty smooth obviously don't want to mess up the first drive you know if you spin out or run into something in the, the intro it's probably not a good omen for the rest of the series so I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious here my goodness dude imagine driving through a storm like this can't wait to explore these things and see what they've got hiding in them Thumbed in the jungle, baby. Dude, this game is just so beautiful. I everywhere you look, whether it's the birds or the water or the foliage or reflections on the windows, everything just looks so incredible. Get some interior views, rally racing through the jungles of Mexico. Just insanity. Woo! Can't wait to see what secrets these jungles have hiding. Obviously, you know, the dust storms and stuff are going to be fun to explore, but the jungles, all the hidden ruins, the barn finds, I can only imagine what they're going to have out there in the brush. So many quaint little towns we're going to be able to go through. Whoa, now. Watch where you're going there, Chief. I love our giant... I never noticed the giant antenna on the top of the car. Dude, that thing is massive. Doubles the height of the car. Again, you know what? Why not? What kind of a game does an intro like this? You know, giant... Cargo planes flying under bridges as you're racing around underneath them. It's just... How do you not love this? Almost to the Aztec ruins or Mayan ruins or ru ruins. I don't know which ones they are. And now it's time to get it. Project one. This is the final drop. The whole festival is waiting. That's startup, dude. I look forward to when we can buy this thing. It's gonna be a while, it's gonna take some grinding. It's uh well over two million dollars, so enjoy it while we've got it. Here we go. What do you say? Race to the festival wins? Race to the finish, your boy don't lift. Let's go ahead and hop inside, see the interior of this beauty. Then we're going to hop around to the outside once we get a little bit closer to the this festival. Is Mexico. We've already had cars falling out of the sky, but all eyes are on the superstar making their way to the festival right now. Dude, this thing is incredible. Look at this. Oh, we, we got to lift a little bit. Okay, that was a pretty tight corner. Not going to lie. We're taking corners close to 200 miles an hour and it's just eaten. Mexico, 
195 through that corner and it's just planted the whole way through. 215-216. Little precursor, the AMG1 is gonna win, baby. Dude, one of the coolest intros to a video game ever. Just, just unbelievable. I think that actually might be my fourth time oh, yeah. well, seeing or playing it. Fiesta party, people, and we are just getting started. Please welcome our number one superstar to Horizon Mexico. I've loved it every single time, man. Now, here's where I'm going to skip ahead. So, I'm sure you guys saw, but I had some early access videos a couple weeks ago where we played through, like, the first 50 minutes or so of the game. So, the next part's just kind of a hand-holding thing. You do a showcase event. It walks you through a couple of races, a little side activity in the Jeep Gladiator, inside the storm, stuff like that. If you guys want to go watch that, I'll link it down in the description. But uh, we're going to skip to the good stuff where we buy our first house. Okay, so I may have lied. I, I can't remember exactly what we're doing here. I don't think we're buying a house yet, but I think we're meeting Remy at a house and we're expanding the horizon a bit. All right, here we go. Casa Bella. Welcome. This is it. We're ready for the next stage of the horizon adventure. Ramiro has marked out potential outposts to expand to and new event types to unlock. The choice is yours. Where should we go first? Interesting. All right, so we want to expand. We've got the main stage. We've got Apex Road Racing, Dirt Racing, Baja, Rush, and Street Scene are both locked. I'm going to say let's... I say we start with Apex. Let's... Horizon Apex will be the ultimate destination for road racing. Okay. Tulum Expedition. Weather a storm on the road to Tulum. Very cool. Well, we're cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Come meet me, my friend. You will see. All right, so I guess this is how we're going to kind of, you know, spread the good word of the Horizon Festival. Branch out, get new events, new races, new everything else. So let's um, drive over to Tulum, baby. Here we go. I guess kind of our house, kind of not. That was Ramiro's house there, so... He did say what's what's his is ours. I'll, I'll take that at its face value, but technically not our own personal home yet. So here we go. Just ripping through the countryside, baby. Our bone stock Supra. Obviously going to be getting into some pretty crazy uh, upgrades and stuff throughout this series. We do have a, a fairly nice stable, so let's let's take a look at our cars so far. Now, I, I have, since I did have early access, I was doing a little bit of grinding just to get money. And I, I accidentally opened a couple wheel spins. So, um, you know, we have a couple extra cars from that. But we also have some some bonuses from, like, playing previous forces. They give you some cars like this Huracan and, and the Centenario and stuff like that. So, we've got a... A pretty good garage here already. We've got a lot of stuff we're going to get through. And obviously, as time goes on, we're going to be buying some new stuff, working the auction house, doing all kinds of stuff. It should be fun. I remember in previous forces, we like, I'd make custom cars from the series, put them up on the auction house. You guys would find them, bid on them. Obviously, they'd, they'd sell for more than they traditionally would because it was like custom T Martin made. And then that'd like help us out with, with grinding and having money for vehicles and stuff so we might end up doing stuff like that i don't know i don't want you guys to waste your money but if you're out there grinding and you want a special t martin car potentially do something like that we'll see this is just I i'm i'm awestruck this looks so good this looks so just incredible I mean, just look, look around us, dude. Just, oh. Don't go too fast here, Trev. Don't want to go flying off the side. Everything just looks so good. It's so smooth. Dude, this, this is, this is incredible. The Tulum Expedition. 
Here we go. So I'm curious how we're going to work this out. We're going to think about how we want to do each episode. Do we want to like swap off? Do like street racing, dirt racing? Horizon Bravo Niner! This is Horizon Bravo Niner! Do you read me? Look to the sky! Follow me and keep up! Ramiro! Is that you? Who else? I know just the spot to expand the festival, but the path takes us through the deepest part of the jungle. Do you trust me? Of course! Why would I not? Then follow the road. I will guide you from the air. And pray the weather goes. I really the hope they do some crazy stuff with the weather the this year. With DLC, maybe with like limited time events and stuff. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the lightning. This thing is pretty fun. Big and, well, and beefy. This is a thick boy. We are slightly too late for this festival, I'm afraid. The name means Place of the Roads of the Gods. She's kind of hard to keep on the road. She wants to get off road. She doesn't. She doesn't exactly like. Like the pavement. I'm gonna start kind of cutting some corners and stuff a little bit. But she definitely wants to be off road. You sure we should be heading into this store? A bit of rain is nothing to fear, my friend. The Maya know that too well. It is said that Jack straights lining at the clouds and rain will fall. And you're doing okay up there? Don't worry, I am still in complete control. Actually, I am not in complete control. Gotta watch out for those wind shears, bud. I mean, what's a little guardrail destruction if you're not having fun? Shoot, fire Ramiro and Ek Ek Balam? Ramiro, are you okay? Never better. Any landing you walk away from is a good one. I'm down next to some kind of bloody uh, temple. I'll send up a flare. There he is over there. Okay. Here in a while. Look, even the excavations are abandoned. An expedition to a lost city, rediscovered by you, Ramiro Luis Miron, and the Horizon Festival. Hey, Rami, I think I'm going to take a look around. Find somewhere to put the beacon. Do not let me interrupt your Mesoamerican history lesson, my friend. You can come and get me when you're ready. Okay, so we want to find a location for the radio beacon, photograph the jade statue, reach the top of the central ruin, find where Ramiro has landed. And photograph the golden statue. I found just the place for that radio beacon. Let me go ahead and take this thing out, though. Beautiful. Got some XP there. So it looks like we've got stuff on our mini map. Ah, so we. This is sick. There's a bit more of a story to it. Beacon is up and transmitting. Work. Now at least someone knows where we are. Is this the Jade statue over here? What is this? Photo Mo, we're gonna take a photo of this. I mean, let's just take a photo. It's not gonna be a good one, but we'll we'll take the challenge. Beautiful. All right. Back into the vehicle we go. I'm gonna make sure we we take care of everything here. It is nice because it's. I think I found the golden statue. Let me just get a picture of this. Ooh. Gotta be careful here. It's uh, all on the mini map, which makes things a little bit easier. Okay, we're up here. Nicely done. Reached the top of the central ruin. So now we're gonna want to photograph the Jade statue and find where Ramiro has landed. Oop. Hold on a second. Here's the other statue we need, and then Ramiro, I believe, is, is gonna be over on the other side. Let me get kind of set up, pose a little bit for this one. See, that's that's a slightly nicer photo right there. I like that. The Jade statue. Beautiful. I mean, not not bad. Probably could have slowed down, you know. Gotten stationary for it. Rabbit, We're okay. I think I found one of the statues. Don't touch it. It's very powerful. I remember one time we were at a, a ruin in Mexico, Chelsea and I, and um, the lady told me to touch the statue. 
because it gives you uh, uh it was like the statue of, of fertility and it, it gets you pregnant so um i didn't touch it oh, there you are right let's push on to the coast the storms can be bad but the ancient peoples of this region knew the value of the rain cenote into the eye of the storm. <laughs> Are you alright? Not a very deep cenote, but we'll take it. I don't plan on being discovered here by the next archaeological expedition, do you, my friend? Nope. This place is definitely nicer without us in it. Let's get moving! Some of the roads might be blocked. I'll navigate. It looks like there's one way to the coast. To the heart of the storm. You can handle this, my friend. I trust you. Do your worst. We are riders on the storm. Riders on the storm! I hate the reduced visibility of the, the roll cage here. Makes it a lot harder to see. Couldn't be in a better vehicle for it, baby. Let's rip our way through here. Can I see those photos? What? Now? Yes, I want to see. I really want to see them. Okay, that one was very close. Go faster, please. Ramiro, are you sure you're taking us the right direction? Because we just kind of did like a big, a big 180 there. I, I feel like there was a bit more of a uh, direct path we could have taken. We're in a, a direct vehicle. Could literally go from point A to point B and run over everything in the way in this thing. And you're, you're having us do circles around trees. We're the worst of it now. Tulumi's just around the corner. Tulum is beautiful. To Gonna have beautiful Tulum. We made it. No ruins on the, the beach. <laughs> You're right. But these beaches look beautiful now. I don't think I've seen Tulum so far in this game. In the preview events and stuff. Obviously in the trailers, but you know, I think this will be the perfect spot. I think you're right, my friend. All right. Street racing in Tulum. Looks like we got every single accolade there. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember half the stuff. How did, how did we do that many things there? Okay. We got the 2014 Bach Mono. XS Modern Race Suit Clothing. I'm pretty sure clothing has been removed from the wheel spins this year too, which is really exciting. We got some new sayings and stuff. Cause I think because you're earning it in in these sections and through like the Fortsathon points or whatever, you, you can't get them in the wheel spins, no? which is great. I could be wrong. I could be totally talking under my butt here, but welcome to the Apex Festival. Welcome to Horizon Apex. Ready for my road racing program? Absolutely. Here are the events I've set up so far. This is what I've been waiting for, my friend. Now I get to see what you can really do. So yeah, you guys can see we've got uh, we've got road races all over the place here, and in 2,950 more accolade points, we're gonna be able to upgrade, unlock a new festival, go do that, and and kind of keep going. So obviously we're we're gonna want to unlock all the festivals first, and then we're gonna be able to focus on cars and and whatever else afterwards. So this is. Uh, this is cool. I like I like the way we're we're doing this here. This is nice. So we're we're gonna roll out. I'm kind of thinking we should get everything unlocked, and once everything's unlocked, let's start focusing on customizing cars and and building things out and whatever else. I just I, I don't want to focus on that too early when there's everything else is is happening. You know what I mean? And we could even switch up cars a little bit. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. If you guys haven't been to uh, to Tulum, it's it's honestly really crazy. 
the, the main beach part of it that everybody wants to go to with all the cool hotels and stuff, it's literally a two-lane street. Don't satisfy you? Then it's time to make your own. Introducing Event Lab. Could make our own things, but I think I'm just gonna go with the, the Horizon ones at least to start things off. But yeah, it's a two-way street, tons of traffic. It's hard to get in and out of, especially at like you know peak rush hour traffic times. But once you're there, it's like very secluded. It's it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna say since we've been rocking the super a bit, let's mix things up. I mean, GT2 RS. Why not? And again, we're gonna go through, like, I, I'm gonna have a GT2 RS dedicated episode at some point. We're gonna trick it out, upgrade them, make them look cool, whatever else. But since we're early on and we're, you know, try to feel out the game, try to unlock things, let's do it this way. Imagine showing up and instantly just having a GT2 RS, baby. Here we go. Let's get after it, see what we can do. Our first ever Apex Road Race. Oh my good dude, what? I was not expecting that to mess me up. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to restart this. I didn't, wow. I can't ever remember a time where I've been that messed up by a rain puddle before. That was excruciating. That was terrible. Oh, it's got construction, like warning barrels around it. Okay, so that, I mean, that's, that's a deep rain puddle there. It's potentially realistic you know hydroplaning is a pretty serious deal got to be careful so that was uh that was tricky we're gonna have to watch out for stuff like that that was not expected at all bit of an embarrassing start but we're gonna be able to work through it so here we go let's see if we can work our way up through the pack here we've got three laps to be able to make it happen obviously our very first race on this circuit so we're gonna have some feeling out to do we want to get to the edge of what's possible but not exceed it which is sometimes pretty difficult in a machine like this let's hop inside see oh my goodness dude this is so beautiful so like here i'm not really sure how intense these corners are not not bad look you can see the divots and stuff in the Alcantara. Now we are on a pretty hard difficulty. I think we're on expert to start things off. Do not cut that corner close, Trev. You can dip a wheel or two off, but do not do not go whole whole hum into that thing. My goodness. We do not need a repeat of what happened earlier. Here we go. But yeah, I, I want to race on a really hard difficulty just so we're getting all the bonus credits and stuff we can, but obviously that's also going to come with the challenge of wanting to win. So we're, we're going to find a balance. I think it'd be nice to be racing on a difficulty where sometimes we don't win. But I feel like sometimes it's it's easy to just make sure you win literally everything and get the max money and whatever else. But I, I would really like to apply myself and... That was close. Almost missed that checkpoint there because we're talking so much. I'd like to apply myself and make it fairly intense, fairly close, you know what I mean? Got a guy in a Bach mono here. Dude is just cheating with the grip Woohoo! okay I mean fighting for podiums is more fun than just getting out front and blowing everybody away is kind of what I'm thinking that was about the the very limit of what we could do with cutting that corner I like that dude that's an exciting new addition I don't I can't remember I mean it's it's rainy over in the UK I can't remember ever running into anything like that in Horizon 4. Really curious what the, the seasons are gonna bring this year. Oh, come on, baby. I I might, I might just ship it into one of these corners here. Try to get around these guys. I, I will say, if, if we're on a harder difficulty, I'm, I'm gonna race a little dirty sometimes where it, where it matters. Cause truly, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. I'm not gonna be dirty. But I'm gonna get it done. Daddy gets it done. He might, he might not. Or he might get it done, baby. <sighs> Victory for our very first one. Had to work for it. But a victory nonetheless. That felt good. 
Dude, I, I, uh, something about this game. I don't even know what sound just came out of me, but some, something about this game is just chef's kiss. All right. So we're om we've almost unlocked our next chapter. Okay, so the, the, the things are coming through quickly. Here's our first wheel spin. Now, here's the deal. This, this is the only wheel spin I'm going to show you guys like this. We've got a 1969 Camaro Super Sport. Super Sport. I'm going to go back hey, to our Heather. old school ways. This is the Horizon Tour. It's the place to meet up with friends, sit back, and, well, tour across Mexico. You should check it out when you have the time. Will do. Don't you, don't you worry. I'm not worried about it right now, though. I'm going to focus on our road races. So what I'm going to do Hello, is... Hello, I'm Anna, your automated natural navigation assistant. I can help you explore Mexico and find fun things to do. I've been upgraded with the new Forza Link module. Okay. Forza Link tracks the status of you and the people you meet online and suggests Look ways for you to link up is. and play together. It's going to be our way of communicating with the world light around light up, us. It's suggesting a new way for you to link up with other drivers. Nice. Okay. Appreciate that. Make it nice and easy for us. Let's um, let's go do another road race. I'm going to say the Los Jardines circuit. All right. Let's uh, let's back out of here and, and go run it. Ooh, I like the little surfboards and stuff, dude. I can't wait to literally just just explore it's it's gonna be amazing but um there's a house for sale over on the beach on the right dude gotta watch out for those trev i kind of wanted to, to hit that purposely there but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go back to our old old way of doing things back in horizon 4 so sometimes when you level up it doesn't automatically make the wheel spin go i'm gonna save those up and then occasionally when you like level up at the end of a race it'll auto wheel spin it I'm going to cut those out, and then I'm going to put them all together in giant wheel spin episodes. So we're going to basically do, like, wheel spin, you know, dedicated videos to kind of get the reactions, the hype, stuff like that. You guys really loved that last year or a couple couple years ago. See, we just unlocked another wheel spin right there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to save those up. I've actually already been working on it. So my horizon here, we've got nine plus wheel spins and two super wheel spins currently saved up. And I've got some other tricks up my sleeve that I'm working on, so just be on the lookout for that. We're going to make things really fun and interesting. Should be a, uh, a good time. So here we go, the Hardiness circuit. I'm going to say let's keep mixing it up just so nothing gets too stale. Let's run... Uh... A little gift from Forza. I, I don't remember which game this is for. Pretty much all the, the Horizon games, as well as the Motorsport games, if you played them in the past, you get a free vehicle for each one. It's like Forza Horizon 1, 2, 3, 4. You get four vehicles, and then Motorsport 6, 7. 5, five 6, 7, I think? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. This is probably going to be pretty tough, being on Expert with the uh, the hypercars here. This this is this is gonna be pushing a limit that I don't know that I have, but we'll we'll see. Maybe it'll be easier, who knows? Let me just shut up and appreciate this engine real quick. Nice pass. Got three laps here, I'm gonna do second lap inside. First and last outside. Took that way too hard there, Tra, but it honestly wasn't too shabby. Got to go to work here. Beautiful. That little cutback, switchback thing right there. That's going to be our best passing opportunity. The only way I can describe this game right now is just butter, dude. I, 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 we're playing on PC with a 3090, and I, I, my eyes are just like actively thanking me at all, all moments of playing this. It, it's almost hard to focus because it's so beautiful. Also, I forgot we were gonna go inside. My bad. 
That transition messed us up a little bit, but here we go, chasing down the top three. Rad Rad Hollow and who's some some rando Jack Jackson? Is that Jack? Oh Jericho. Yeah, some rando. Switch back time. Yo, that's how you get it done. Go around the outside. This thing is so planted. This is a technical track. We've got some interesting corners here. Centenario a la Centenario. Here we go, I'm coming for you, Tuck. A little late on the gas right there, Trev, but we're gonna be fine as long as we hit that switch back. We're gonna be okay. Oh, that was that was ugly. We might not be okay. Shoot, we didn't get it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We're in a good spot then. I, I like that. I, I want to fight for first. I think we could have taken first there if we wanted it. Didn't quite make it, but that's okay. We're going to take a second place. We did have the best lap, so we definitely had we had the speed. We, we, we were seven-tenths quicker on the best lap, so we had the speed. We just didn't stitch it together. The views, dude. The views. Hey, Trevor. That's it. It's time for an adventure. Here's the thing. It's not all about expansion. We also want to build our existing outposts with bigger race programs and more events. Expeditions into the unknown or new adventures in our own backyard. It's got our main stage. Obviously, we've got our road racing. We just unlocked dirt racing, cross country, PR stunts, str what is street racing? Is that too similar to Apex racing? I kind of what I kind of want to go see what the street up a new seems street about. Street racing outpost, eh? <laughs> Let's say I know a guy in Guanajuato. You know a guy who knows a guy. Okay, we're gonna go unlock this. Why don't I hook you up? There's just so much to do, dude. Extremely mysterious unknown racer who runs meetups in Guanajuato. And okay. Take the Off we go. We've got seven miles of road to just bomb through in the Chintanario. Six and a half now. That's going going down pretty quickly. Here. Oh, we're we're gonna be partially, partially on the long straight. So this is the the longest road, the longest straightest road we've ever had and a Forza Horizon game. It is literally one long bomb. Unfortunately, we're only gonna see a piece of it here, but um, yeah, pretty, pretty sick. How we didn't just wreck right there, I have no idea. I could just do this. Would you guys be okay with this if we just... When I miss the, the camera switch, that's what really messes me up. But yeah, just just literally videos of just just driving. Oop, we passed it. Hey, nice nice stadium here. This is pretty cool. I thought that thing behind us was what we wanted, but it's not. It's uh it's still four miles this way. So let's keep going. This is a pretty cool stadium though. Land there in war zone or something. It's pretty nice. I mean, this isn't the, the most comfortable route, but it, it's probably the quickest. 160 miles an hour through the, the countryside of Mexico. Don't hit those trees, Trev. Racking up some nice skill points here. Just a couple miles left. Do we think? I don't. I there's a big there's a big. I was gonna say there's a big gorge coming up here. I think we might want to turn off, and that was that was the case. Turn sharp. 
This area, we've got like mud swamps out here. Gonna go up into the mountains. This is a, a lesser traversed, lesser thought of area of Mexico. Obviously Mexico, you kind of think of the beaches, the tourism, maybe Mexico City. And then, you know, a lot of farming and stuff like that. But this is, this is cool, this is beautiful. The street racing expedition. Let's unlock some street racing, baby. So to imagine this is going to be like tighter knit in the cities style racing instead of the circuit racing that we just did. We'll see. Rami, nice ride. I have to look good for my old compadres. And I thought, what looks better than beating a Horizon superstar into your hometown? First to the Basilica wins. Okay. The mysterious Alefe. Mysterious boss. Let's do this. I can't wait to There's trick our super out. Maybe. Back then I was just a little kid learning to drive with my mommy and my tios. I couldn't even reach the pedals. This is a nice style of car. But you know, they do say that the most feared street racer in all of Mexico comes from Guanajuato. Because oh, it's not too fast. They really? Was he? They say he's never lost a race. Who knows if he'll make an appearance at Horizon? It's also got a spoiler the size of a dinner table. Race I have a name. Oh, many names. They call him El Jefe, El Perron, El Guapo, El Valiente. But you might meet him one day. But not if you can't even beat me into town. <laughs> Don't you worry, Ramiro. We're going to take care of business. Just like we have every time so far. But yeah, this is... Hold up, I had to pause it here. I'm actually, uh... They got me in the mood. I'm gonna order some tacos. Definitely going with the queso dip. Shoot, dude. Carnitas, al pastor, brisket. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with the carnitas. I'm adding spicy chorizo, too. I'm hungry, dude. I'm about to feast. Let's beat it, baby. Ooh, look at the... Nighttime city off in the distance. Yeah, this is sick. Best city in Mexico. The name means hill of frogs. That's not very street racing. Then you've never seen a frog at top speed, superstar. Put a cafe there. Turn up. Turn up. Sorry, folks. That's okay. The tunnels were built to keep the city from flooding, so they are perfect for El Jefe and the local street racers. Oh, and watch for traffic. These streets can get busy. But I've heard the racers find it adds to the challenge. Looking uh, forward to that. So I've heard. I just want to make it clear that I did I did not uh, push him into that. He straight up ran into that wall. So I I don't want to be held accountable because that was all on all on him. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. So these are gonna be very windy, tight, tough corners, lots of traffic, probably mostly at night. I wish El Jefe could see us now. Oh, he can, my friend. Now get across the finish line. These races are going to be insane. I love the addition of this. Did they have... It's been so long since I played Horizon 4. I don't, I don't remember... I remember some races in the city, but not like this. The GTR. La Basilica Colegiata de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato. Racers come here to ask Our Lady for her blessing. You know, I might be able to contact the jefe. I hear he's pretty strict, but if he thinks you're good enough to join the street scene, then who knows? Dude, I know it's you. Ta <laughs> bueno, pues. Then you're in. Come on, let's go meet my compadres. So Ramiro is El Jefe, okay. Now we're gonna drive out of Guanajuato. 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 Where are we going now? Out of the city. Well, racers meet up. 
Does your family know about El Jefe? Are you kidding? My father would be furious, and my uncle Carlos would challenge me to a race before every family meal. <laughs> well, you can't keep street seeing a secret anymore. You're going to have to show these racers how it's done. They've never been part of a festival before. Show them that fast. Lesson number one. Give the people what they want. And what do the people want? <laughs> Someone willing to bend the rules. Well, let's go ahead and bend them then, Ramiro. Oh, nice little jump here. Honestly, not that impressive because ah, was, that was actually pretty good. I going to say, we're not really going that fast. When we started this meetup, we were just a few kids racing around in old watches. Since then, the racers, the engines, the party have all <laughs> grown a little bit. Beautiful. I love that we've changed up from the flags to the smoke. Sorry about all the mystery, by the way. It's pretty cool. It was nice to visit home as myself for a change. <laughs> it was fun. Nicely done. Well, thanks for showing me your hometown, Remy. My problem, my friend. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. I think this is going to be our festival. This this is going to be the one we're going to want to spend the most time in for sure. Dude, that was that was epic. I'm going to save our first race for later though. We're we're going to we're going to work on that later. Nice. So we're we're really these accolades are are stacking up pretty quickly. I was worried it was going to take too long to unlock all the different features of racing, but um we're looking pretty good. Ooh. -hoo. Got the 93 skyline. Okay, gonna get some XP. We're gonna level up. Welcome to Horizon Street Scene. Fully approved and ready to go. Take a look. This is sick, dude. I love how it's all separated and we're, you know, unlocking each thing individually. Everything I has its own story. All across Mexico. There's a lot of people who want to take you on. No pressure. All right. We will go take them on eventually. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in episode two. We're going to keep grinding, keep working towards unlocking more, you know, types of racing. I honestly, I, th I think next episode is going to be unlocking the rest of them. I think there's four, four more, three more, something like that. Uh, and then we're going to get into it where every episode is going to be based on a car, on a build. We're going to work through it. We're going to switch things up, do some on-road, some off-road. You know, always mix things up, keep you guys on your toes. Even do some of the side missions and some of the seasonal events and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. That'll be tomorrow. We've got a ton of COD coming out later today since that also released today. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.